on the 10th of March, which is a Sunday, we're having a, a lovely family afternoon from 1.30 and we're inviting families with school-aged children, so that means anything from kind of 4 to 17, um, to come along and join us for an afternoon of well-being. We've got 10 30-minute workshops running with uh, a wide variety of practitioners uh, and professionals, all from York and the surrounding area. The main aim of the event is to, my events are always to bring people together, and this particular event is bringing families together, and together learn skills, um, tips, strategies, mechanisms to help both the children and the adults cope better when they come across stress, anxiety, difficulties, challenges in life. I could do some mindfulness activities, I could do some breathing, I could distract myself through crafts, so walk outside. All these strategies mean that you feel less isolated, um, you know, and, and think I can cope. I think no matter what's going on in society, people will always need to cope with some form of stress. But I think the difficulties now seem to be growing, that um, we are putting our teenagers through ever-increasing numbers of exams, seems far more than when I was at school, and the pressure to do well in those. Um, also, you know, there's withdrawal from funding from various different services, you know, there's, there's a, that side of it as well, and parents thinking, I've either got a huge waiting list here or I've got to pay quite a lot of money for some support. Well, I think it is all really about having, you know, what I call as a, a support package. So Lisa Marie Newman's coming down and she's doing something on journaling, which is really good at supporting mental health, both for teenagers and parents. So that sort of thing. I want them to, to come along and enjoy it and see it as an enjoyable afternoon, but also take away this feeling of, right, I, I've... I've got some strategies now, so they literally think I've got something that can help us all cope.